you guys. So I am back for the ones that are needing help passing their real estate exam. A lot of people say this is um, the real estate exam is one of the hardest exams in the United States. Um, that's what I was told, you know, that it's taken people two, three, four, and even five times to pass the test. I passed it my first time. Okay, I did lots of studying. Um, of course, you know, I, I got my, I went part time and I went into a real estate, I took real estate classes um, part time. And I think it may have taken me about three months um, to finish my real estate classes. And um, I'm just going to be honest with you. You take the real estate classes. I feel like, in my opinion, you just take the class to get the hours. Actually studying and, you know, going hard after you get your hours, and you can do it while you're, you're getting your hours, is what's going to help you pass the test. Um, and it just depends on, I guess, who your instructor is. And um, with my instructor, we did a lot of different games and, um, you know, we did tests in the back of the book. And so those things helped. But um, a lot of people just, they consider they're studying reading the real estate book. That didn't help me. I actually had, what I pretty much did is I, in the back of my real estate exam book, um, or study guide, there were tests. And I would constantly take those tests over and over and over until I got high scores, okay? Um, I did take notes when I was in class and I studied those, um, but I didn't go through and just read the real estate um, exam book. I, I just didn't. Um, I, you know, read what was in bold print that's how you knew what was extremely important. And so I made sure that those were the notes that um, I wrote down in my notebook so I can constantly go back and, um, you know, refresh my memory on, on those things. So taking the test in the back of the book, number one, okay? I used a program called Prep Agent. I used YouTube. Um, so... I would listen to uh, other realtors' YouTube channels um, regarding the tests and the questions and things like that. It is so it, it is so important that you study your state's exam. You study you study your state's questions. I'm in Alabama, so I focused on um, Alabama a lot. That was a huge part of um, of our exam here was the state part. And so um let me see what what else I did. I studied every single day for hours in my free time. I used a program called um or website called I believe it was Prep Agent. Don't quote me, but it was some type of um some type of website like that that helped with exams and it was it was wonderful. So I believe it was prep agent and it had a lot of different tests. Um, of course, more, multiple choice. So it was super helpful. Um, I did that. It is extremely important that when you are done taking your real estate class, you do not take two, three, four, five months to go take your test. Everything is fresh in your head. So it is important to study really hard for a couple of weeks and go take your test. Okay, I took mine after I finished my real estate course. I studied, I went hard for two weeks and I went and took my test and I passed it the first time. Okay, and you don't have to be the best test taker. You know, it was multiple choice. I'm not that best, I'm not that great at um, math. But I did, obviously, I did well enough to, um, I made an I made uh, an 80. So I wasn't going to tell you guys, but I made an 80. And so I felt like that's a decent enough score um, to pass. I, you literally only have to pass with a 70, okay? So buckle down, um, 
study hard for a couple of weeks after you finish your real estate course and go take the test. You got people waiting five and six months. Life happens. Things happen. And then you have forgotten, you know, what your instructor um, taught you and you've decided that you're not going to, you know, put much focus into studying. And the big part of passing the real estate exam is you have to study. It's not just the class. It's buckling down and studying, okay? And um, I mean, that's my take on it. Like, don't take forever to go take that test. Take it within a couple of weeks, okay? Put hours into studying a day. You so I told myself, I'm not going to wait a month. I'm not waiting two months. I'm going to finish. Once I'm done with my real estate course, okay, I'm done. I'm going to take my test in two weeks. And I was like, I'm going to study hard and I'm going to take it in two weeks. And that's what I did. And, and when it was time for me to take it, I was like, okay, I know this. Even before I looked at the test, I was like, I know, you know, I know it. And there's no reason why I should fail it. I think I told uh, my family member or whatever, if I fail it, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> because there's no reason. I know the stuff. And I did pass it. So, okay. And remember, you guys, you only got to pass it with the 70. Okay. You got this. All right. Okay. Well, anyway, you guys, do not forget to um, subscribe and like this video. Um, I'm going to be sharing different things, you know, my life, vlogging, and real estate. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.